Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Command and save this. Let's open our simulator. Let's see how is it. And okay, it's not very good looking, but still, we will change this on the next one. So I guess that there's no, we don't have a big reason to worry about this. Okay, it is enough. Let's do a last thing in here still. We will write in here. I guess that the main problem with this is detecting where is the ending point of the widget. One of the best things about Android Studio and IntelliJ is that they auto comment the end of the widget. But uh, at the time I used to use Visual Studio for this, they didn't have this, and it was very difficult for me. Even now, sometimes I get confused somehow, but that's not a problem. We're going to write here decoration is going to be new box decoration. This is what we want, and what we want to change here is the color. And we're going to write colors dot let's try red for now and again about the colors I'm using if you don't like them you can just change you can just change them and put the ones you like no problem about that okay on my original project I used pink but I guess that uh, red is just fine so we can just carry on with the red now what are we going to do uh, I have to make here is the point user account header. So I will comment. Oops. I'll comment body. And here for the body, I'm going to I'm going to provide the widget called. Oh, <clears throat> even before I use the inkwell, I wanted to use a widget called inkwell. I will show a normal one so you'll understand the use of the inkwell. This is going to be a list tile widget. For the list tile widget, you can give the following properties. And one of the, again, we can have many, many, and so many different type of widgets in Flutter. And if I just did videos on widgets and the different properties of that widget, we would take a whole tutorial just doing that. And this is not the point of this tutorial. This the point of this tutorial is building something. So what I'm going to do when we talk about a specific type of widget, I will take time to explain a little bit and use uh, like the main properties of that widget. Okay. So the list tile widget has the title property. You have to have a title. And for the title. I'm going to give a text and I'm going to call this text let's give it capital H I'm going to call this text uh, home page okay okay then let me try to control save it first oh you know what Let's just do this and go back to this. I guess it's faster like this. Okay, control save. Let's see. And here we have home. But for now, this is not what we want, right? So I'm going to provide another property called leading and for the leading I'm going to give icon and icon is icons dot icons dot home 
okay so control save it and we have here home okay so <clears throat> if you try to click this nothing is going to happen why because this is just a widget, this is just a text widget and an icon widget. This is not a button. If you want to turn any widget on the app into a button, we use another widget called the Inkwell widget. So now we just come here, double click here. Go down. Double and click on that yellow light or bulb I don't know then we're going to wrap this with a new widget and we're going to call this new widget inkwell widget and we have to provide a property called on tab and we're going to give an empty function for now then we're going to assign a certain task with this function but that's not a task for now okay so now if you control save and you come here do you see what's happening now you can click on this because this is a button now okay so instead of just writing this again and again and again and again and again we'll do the following <clears throat> let us uh, excuse me let us open this image like again I'll have to go to the trash we have this image okay let me open so I will see how the how our drawer is arranged so this is kind of different but okay we can get there I gave pink for this one and here I gave red you can just change these colors really up to you and I gave red for, for, for the icons but now I'm just give, going to leave it like that and if you want to change you can do it no problem then after home page I gave my account my orders and categories so let's do it ASAP what I'm going to do is just copy is just copy these jump twice you paste it jump twice paste jump twice paste you control save it and it's going to I love flutter okay uh, let me open that picture so we're going to see how is it okay my account my orders so we have home here we're going to write my account and I'm going to write icons.person here I'm going to write we're going to have my orders thing is now I'm forgetting the name of that icon the shopping basket and I had categories I guess I gave a dashboard for this we just control save and automatically it's going to change over here and let me open the picture so I can see what else do we have then we have favorites, then we have settings, and finally about. Okay. So let's let's go. Uh let me copy this again. Oops. This is where the inkwell ends. We're going to favorites and here for the icon I'm going to change this to favorite we have here we have it if you pay attention we kind of have a line here dividing these 
upper section with settings and about so to have the it's easy you can just come in here you go down and you just write here widget called divider this is all you need then paste these ones paste this again this is going to be settings and here you're going to give settings and finally we're going to have about and here we have icons dot Control save this and here you have it okay so you can just click here for now we have no 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 specific task or function for this uh, because the, these functions are empty on tab we we'll give empty functions for that but I guess that this video was already long enough I really hope you guys did like the video and did enjoy the tutorial and for the next class we're going to start working on this white space here for now we just have these things and they're not doing nothing special now but we're going to give life to all of these so we still have a lot of work to do so i really hope you liked the video and if you did please don't forget to leave that like uh, below and and if you didn't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for the support and thank you for watching the videos. See you on the next one.